What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan and this is my desk setup. Alright, let's get right into it. If you remember from the last video, we actually took the headboard and said we were going to use it in the next project. And that's what this is. We took the mom headboard and screwed in some legs from Ikea. And if you want to look, the Ikea legs that we picked were called Godwin, I think. And the reason why we picked them is because it keeps with that modern minimalist look that we were trying to go for in my room. The only issue with this desk is with the modern look, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of space for storage because I guess it's geared towards the minimalist vibe, but I have not made that transition yet. So that is the only issue that I have with this desk. But other than that, it looks really nice and we can just get into what we did with the aesthetics. I'm still on a broke wave, so we have to reuse a lot of the stuff that I already have. First up is this really old IKEA lamp. I don't remember what it's called, but it's a pretty staple in IKEA furniture. The only thing is they don't sell this base anymore because this base is like super heavy and I find it super useful, but I don't know if you can get this anywhere. Next up, I'm sure you've noticed, but in the background, like all the other tech reviewers, I have put an LED strip across the back of my table. I just think it looks really cool. And especially if Rachel and I just want to watch some TV shows or movies, it's cool to have that little ambiance effect behind the table. Another thing kind of for functionality, kind of for aesthetic, these laptop and phone stands I got from Amazon have been super useful just to help me with my day-to-day -day use. It makes my workflow a lot more smoother. Um, and yeah, if you have the budget for it, I'd recommend getting it. It's not a necessity, but I think it's pretty cool. I guess last but not least is the peripheral. Um, I just got this mouse mat off of Amazon. But yeah, I picked this one because it's a, it's a lighter gray and it brightens up my work space area instead of it just being super dark. I guess this brings us into functionality, which is the keyboard and mouse that I got. Both of these were off of Amazon. It was the cheapest Bluetooth uh, keyboard I could find and this wireless USB mouse and I really enjoy it because it works on pretty much any surface. They have like three main sensitivity settings um, that you can just press on the mouse. And then as for the desk, I did a, lot of, a little bit of cable management because sometimes I like to work with a monitor, sometimes I don't. But all of the cables are actually put in behind the table with a J section cable organizer. I think that's what it's called. But this thing has been super useful. I got it off of Amazon and it's just easy. You just stick it onto the back of the table and you can wire in all your cables through there. So I have cables for my monitor, my the lights, and also this SD card reader as well as a USB hub. The main way that I did this is I actually stuck a power bar underneath the table and I just did that with some uh, double sided scotch tape. And that's how I pretty much stuck everything up there actually. The SD card reader, the USB hub, the power bar and everything's been holding up really well just with this adhesive, uh, this, this double sided tape. That's pretty much it. All the cables run through the back like I said. Uh, the LED strip definitely gives it that ambiance and I like to keep my desk as clear as possible. The main issue with this setup is storage. I don't have enough storage so if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations definitely comment those down below. So I'll show you my hideous solution that I have for now for storage. I still like to read a lot of books and I still need to keep my files for business and like my life. So I have this shelf. Um, this shelf is where I put all my things that I like to read, the things I need to do, um, my like daily wallet watches like container thing here, as well as the papers, files, and some knickknacks. Uh, last but not least is another hideous nightstand that I used to have in my room which I still use to charge my other devices as well as put all of my uh, stationery and everything. Alright guys, that's everything for my desk setup. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you liked it and definitely please let me know if you have any recommendations for storage because I really need it and I'm not really feeling the vibe of this shelf. Oh, one more thing I forgot. This right here is that secret project that I've been telling you I've been working on. I launched it on Kickstarter and it's called the Limitless Planner. It's a tool I designed to help me get out of my rut and I just wanted to be able to share that with as many people as possible. I'll put the Kickstarter link down in the description down below so if you guys could check out the Limitless Planner, share it on Facebook, tell your friends, help out as much as you can, it'll really mean a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.